Happy holidays, it's Erin and Jeremiah and we are very excited to just share, we were asked to share some of our favorite holiday traditions and some things that we're thankful for. Um, I feel like we're kind of in a different stage right now where our kids are just starting to, they're getting older and our families, we're finally starting to create our own family traditions, which has been kind of fun. Um, but what are some of the family traditions that come to your mind first? Well, what I love is one of the things we're battling right now with our kids is anytime we want to do something, they have serious FOMO of what they're going to be missing out with their own friends. But when it comes to the holidays and we say we're going to do whatever it is we're going to do, they are in. Sometimes we'll let them bring friends because that's always fun. But they join in on what we're doing. And probably one of my favorite things is every year, right before Christmas, we get a couple of hotel rooms downtown in Salt Lake City. And we go down and see all the Christmas lights. We get some dinner. Everyone can do some last minute Christmas shopping for their siblings or whoever they don't have presents for. And that's probably one of the funnest things that we ice do. Ice skating usually that night as well. Um, yeah, that is a super fun tradition. Our kids always look forward to that one. Um, we go, let's see, what else do we do? We do Christmas Eve with your Yeah, we spend family. Christmas Eve with my we family. We have a lot of fun games. Um, our kids love it because his dad puts in uh, money in each card and then he reads Twas the Night Before Christmas and whoever like so when he says all they pass it to the left and when it's the. the they pass it to the right and so whatever envelope you have in your hand at the end of the game you get and he's, he has a bunch of like hundreds and fifties twenties and um, actually two hundred dollar bills so Everyone wants whoever $100. gets that they're always very excited and we feel like it's always the babies yeah. that get it or is what my kids were telling me the other day and um, some other holiday Well traditions. then all day Christmas we spend with her family. Yeah. They have like a party in the morning, then we go home and then a party in the afternoon. And then That's we go home party. for like an hour and then yeah. there's another party. Probably. Yeah. It's fun. Sounds about right. <laughs> um, but we want to, we're excited to hear some ideas as we start to create these traditions for our family. We are excited to hear um, some other ideas, hopefully from you guys and to learn more about um, some fun ideas of what we can do with our kids now that they're getting older and our families are starting to leave it up to us to be like real adults now. Yeah, but without any question, it's probably my favorite time of the year because it is, there's just, like I said, anything I can do to get it to where my kids want to spend time with us, I thoroughly enjoy that. And so there's a ton of One family thing time. We are forgetting, we do try to do like a for Santa, which is always fun to get the kids involved in that and to give back a little bit. And that some years has gone really awesome and some years that's kind of been a struggle. Like when we're at the store and the kids are asking for things and we're getting mad at them saying we're not there shopping for them. Um, but that's yeah. always kind of a fun tradition. Yeah. And then the last two years, my dad and stepmom, instead of giving us a present, they actually give us a cool book. It's a different book every year with money and that money goes toward free to the kids to actually find somebody in need. So then all of December, our kids have a little bit of money that they get to go. So there's a side from the sub center. They get to go and find somebody that they want to try and help. And then right before we do the, it was the night before Christmas, everybody gets to tell of uh, the cool experiences they had in finding someone that might have been in need of uh, that money. That actually has been one of my favorite things to, hear, to see the kids um, try to come up with ideas. Like one, I think it was last year when the kids, we were just in the drive through at um, one of the hamburger places here and they wanted to pay for the car behind us. Another one was wanting to give like an extra big tip for their They could tell that the barber pet. wasn't doing well. Yeah. So they gave a giant tip for that gal. It's, and... it's fun to watch them come up with it and then to hear how everybody has participated in that. That is actually one of my very, very favorite traditions. Um, and then things that we are thankful for this time of year. Um, Definitely, definitely family. That has to be number one. Um, this guy, he is truly, I mean, you guys get to see a little bit of him here at Zayek, but he really is as sweet as he comes across and as good to me as he comes across and just service oriented and loving and kind and always thinking of others. So, so grateful for Jeremiah and his example. And grateful for shelter. We were at, we're kind of bundled up right now because we were just at a jazz game. And as we were walking, you see so many homeless people. And I just kept thinking like every single night when I, before I go to bed, I am going to make sure that I am so thankful for shelter over my head and a warm home to come home to. So those, those have been on uh, my mind a lot.
Jared? Uh, health. We, we are lucky and fortunate to have very good health in our family right now. We have a, a nephew who's been struggling, going through a lot of issues, and it makes you reflect a little bit and just like uh, really appreciate those things that you have because when you don't have it, that's when you realize it. So very grateful for the health that we have. I'm so grateful for uh, the Zaya family, just what it brings to us, the opportunities that it gives so many of us. Um, I get, I've been on social media a lot lately looking at all the different things that people are now doing on their own. We do, we like to do promotions. You know, we just did this one where for every item purchased during the Veterans Day promotion we're giving, we've been working with um, a group here where we get to donate an item to all the military families here. But I was able to see all of these other people that are doing their own thing. And I just love that this community has this, um, Nothing to do with us or anything, just that Zaya has created this opportunity for people to go out on their own and donate, whether it's extra coats that they have. Or I saw some people buying coats to donate them to people. So it's just fun to see people going out of their way to um, look for people that are in need. And I love that part of, of that, especially this time of year. But I love it that it happens all the time. But I am seeing a whole lot of that going on right now. So I love that part of yeah. it. Yeah. Thankful for all of our Zaya customers. We, I mean... Ditto what Jeremiah said, but any single person that has ever bought anything from Zaya or makes it a part of their life in any way, it is just so humbling and we are so, so grateful for anyone that, that has anything to do with Zaya. Just, we, we consider all of you family and we're, it's like one of the most humbling things when I'm driving down the street and I see somebody running in a Zaya outfit. It, there's so much work and thought and, um, passion that goes into design and so when you see somebody that cares about your product and is excited to wear it and share it it goes such a long way so so thankful for you guys and we hope that you guys have the best holiday season and try to find things that you're grateful for hopefully that you feel grateful or that you feel appreciated